streaming. Stream started. Enough of this bullshit. Stream closed. <laughs> Enough of this bullshit. Starts stream. Mm. Just to check. Is that still in the copy paste buffer? It's not in the copy paste buffer. It is now. Um, <laughs> send, That's good. Is send, that also part of the stream? Send. Well, yeah, I, I don't actually send the stream link until I actually have a stream to link to. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. What were you expecting from me? <laughs> I do not know. Uh, I, 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 I believe I was expecting several different kinds of crayfish made out of Lego. I was about to say, I'm not going to eat crayfish. That they're made out of Lego is just an inconvenience. <laughs> Hello, Sundex. I know how the animation still happens off the edge of the non-existent widescreen. Which means that this would convert to widescreen perfectly if it weren't for everything else screwed up. Also, I think I muted Flash at some point, so... We now have sound. If that's too loud or too quiet, someone tell me. This wonderful little thing that says things to do. I, I love how they've, they've drawn random things on it, it's kinda cute. Also, they have paper. I don't know why, but I am impressed that they have paper. You're impressed they have paper, even though paper... Well, papyrus was made from... green and stuff. Allow me to be impressed! I'm um, sorry to disappoint, Sandex. My My voice does not... ...sound like whatever. Uh, no, 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 going the wrong way, I need, um, the shells from the, um, I, I need the, the, um, the South Garden materials. I know she says to go to the North Garden, but there's only the South Garden available, which is kind of... Or I'm misremembering things. There's only the East Garden, but, um... Thank you! Well we remembered get... there. Uh, just remember, it, it's, um, 150 Harakeke, or is it more? Uh, you needed 52 plaques, all, all in all, so, um... About 100 and, yeah, a little over 150 Harakeke. And, uh, if I'm correct... Uh, about 26 Kubi shells, of which I currently have oh. not enough. Yes, question, why do you call them Kubi shells? I always because call them Kubi shells. Because that's just how I instantly pronounce it. When you originally said these things, you, you commented that this is based on Maori pronunciation. Yeah, well, that's so, Kauri. Is and and then I kept trying to pronounce things, and you kept yelling at me, and I basically just decided that I am pronouncing it however, damn you. Okay, then. Well... You shall be treated to two dialects of Bionicle, then, here in this stream. Three. Or maybe four. We haven't gone to Lekoro yet. Well, yes. But you can't like, see it, but I'm grinning. To... I am going to try and read in a Lekoro dialect, people. Yell at me now. <laughs> Accuracy challenge. Speedy. He is going to shout yell at you in Lekoro dialect speak. <laughs> uh, anybody who... Well, it's actually tree speak. Yeah. Um, anybody who has not seen us play these previously, uh, we're not trying to insult the way you speak. Leco everybody in Lekoro speaks like this. Like, seriously, we're wondering what exactly they were doing with that. But, yeah. 
Uh, this isn't aimed at you. They were is... trying to add character to the tribes. It, it, it's a really weird character they were adding, but they added it, so that. Yeah. Well, you I know, disagree. they are sing-songing but... highly so much that they uh, their heads are up high all the time. Maybe so is the rest of them. They live in the damn or... trees. Oh, well, hi high up tree branch is always very high Oh, for up. God's sake! Um... Electro also, drums do sometimes on. bring These sad These gears songs. here... They're not moving in a plausible fashion. In fact, all three of them are moving impossibly! Who scripted that animation? No, no, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Lead rat. Wrong way. Wrong way and wrong way. It's wrong way and wrong way on the wrong way and wrong way. Uh, mm, uh, Broadway. Um, uh, 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 wrong way and wrong way is a... Uh, a crappier version of the two... I, I, I was going to say, it's a, is it a crappier version of the two Ronnies? No, it's it is a Ducktales episode. The, no, that's not so bad. It's wrong been... way in wrong way, where wrong way is spelled, you know, way as in Uruguay. Oh my God! They went they released... to the country of wrong way. They they, um... they released their first opera, Winfrey, Opera Winfrey. Seriously? I mean, Opera Winfrey. I, I, are you still getting it? No, I'm still angry. This is the map maker's house. Um, I love how I know whose house it is as I walk into it. <laughs> this is the wrong house, oh, but it's yeah. too late now. <laughs> well, well, don't, don't just in the in the bike yourself to Nereta's house when she's not home. I know she's not home. I saw her leave. Yeah, so talk to her on the pier. Please make me something. You kindly. But Hello? I have bamboo. I have bamboo. Why will you not make me a sicker? I think I... it's because it's in your hand. Oh, that's why I haven't got enough kuri shells. Are we still going to bitch about oh. the pronunciation on this? Um, no. For the record, I'm not taking myself seriously today. I've had a good day with some downsides. Screw you lot. This also means that I will periodically be eating kebab on stream. Might as well watch. Hands in the air, absolutely nothing. And to you, Senray, from what I remember, probably because last time I heard you was last year. LOL. LOL to you too. I do not sound any different, unfortunately, for you. I know thee, thou heathen. <laughs> uh. On that note, could you give us a quick bionicle, um, uh, Con Lang <laughs> counting lesson again? Okay, if you really want. I'm being sarcastic. Am I? No, no, I'm not actually. Um, if we're going to do this, let's pronounce weird strings of words. Um, Hexanitro hexa as I said. numbers today. in Maltoran are ill conceived. Okay, they're mathematically well conceived, but they're the. Uh... Not, topograph uh, not topographically, uh, I want to say characteristically, because you're writing them, except that's not the word. Um... Yeah. Uh, if we're also going so to do. He has this. Uh... Okay, so out of gloom, when he designed the numbers in Matoran, he basically made made two words, Nga and Na, where Nga is no. one and Na is six. Uh, Nga... And, it, then, it, and then after from, that it plays like Roman. Uh, Nga comes from older Na Ka, which is like the power energy of six altogether, so kind of like unity thing, so... As, it, as in Kaita, but and less... Anyway, if, if you say... Uh, if you say R, if you say R, 
before a number, it means uh, that number plus one. So, nga, a nga, one and two, na, a na, uh, six and seven, na, na, a na, na, twelve, thirteen. Of course, he uses base six. Uh, if you have a more complex number, if you want to say, you know, one after so something, you add a nga after it. Uh, so the, the only say, way to start the only way to start the next digit of a number ha. just correct me if I'm wrong the only way to start the next digit of a number is to literally just start another number with a one or a six uh, kind of uh, where you add na to so, uh, something that already has an <laughs> a to uh, make a complex number word, you, you, anga nga is three, so anga plus nga. Two, I can't wait till they get to the point where they're having three. to do astrophysics anna, and anna. and like imaginary numbers and stuff because they are going to have a headache. Well, imaginary numbers would be easy, but that's not. Yeah, because we're too cool for conventional vectors, yo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, it's Anna. Uh, uh, <laughs> I had then, a joke I was going to go to with this, and then I didn't go there. If it's a higher number, the lower number is subtracted from the higher number. So, Anna Na is four because it's Anna two before Na six, so it's four. Right, so it basically so, plays like ancient Roman. And Uru. Or possibly modern Uru, Roman. Uru is zero because Ru is kind of like no, and then you add a prefix to it. But but anyway, this all means number no. Numbers. I'm sorry. Uru na anga anga na anga na 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 ana ana na. I thought I was gonna make pronunciation jokes. Wasn't time. Then I never did. Na 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 Anna na anga, anga na 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 na, na 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 na, and so. I like how since we've started this, we have acquired another person. Somewhere during my about during my incitement of your rant, we have somehow acquired a new watcher. I apologize. I have some slightly skewed expectations tonight, don't I? I should walk a bit. Do I have enough shells for a hatchet? I probably do, but I'm going to get two more anyway because I'm paranoid. And it's not a hatchet, it's a sickle. Other parts of the Mator and Conlang language are much better, in my opinion. Uh, even though they're, they're, there's a lot of, like, fiddly things going on there that I'm not sure of, of how I feel about. It, this is kind of uh, what happens uh, oh, when you oh. get a, a very non-descript language. Well, it, it's not that. For example, uh, let's take the word for to attack, which which is zia. You can uh, uh, the ya in the end is actually uh, two different suffixes that that make this. This is now a verb. However, you oh, could I'm so deconstruct sorry. that, take the R and E, make it a circumflex, your circumflex, which means you you put, put it on both ends of the stem at the same time to make RZ, which w would be attacker or something like that, for example. I'm sorry, I was just briefly noticing the issue with the animations. Like, for example, the tree cutting animation. There's one major issue with it. Hello, Graydon no. Doerkson. Is this Revo again under the different name and I'm not actually remembering? Mm -hmm. Is the crafter back in her hut? She is not back in her hut. 
CONSTRAIN EVERYBODY! Um, I love how this sign, it, it says something like the name's shop. Well, it says something like name's bartering... Yeah, bartering, um... That's his bartering barter. <laughs> and and then you have it we we buy it and vice versa. <laughs> it's the little detail. Hey you're home! Uh hello, I'd like to buy something. I am going to need a net, a sickle. And two fish hooks. I'm going to need a net. But I have a sickle! Yes, I'm pronouncing it wrong for the amusement of myself. That's how, um. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> but no, uh, it, it, here's this, like, thing. Uh, do I have to close my inventory to leave this screen? Yes, of course I do. Um, amusingly, one of the issues they have with the um, with the animation setup uh, is that the timing isn't per plant; it's per everything. Which means if I slice, hey, can I help with anything? Ah, no, I don't have any string. Um, so if I slice two on that. And then slice that one, it immediately slices in one, even though I've only done one on it. It's like, yeah, this is just, um... This is crappily programmed, basically. There's a note in the middle yeah, of the patch of... Yeah, it's not super great. It, you can tell, if you zoom out a bit on the screens, that it was programmed by committee. Because they leave notes to each other in the edges of the screen. Where the player shouldn't be able to see, except for the fact that, you know, widescreen! Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that says bees. Possibly trees. Something that ends in is. Attempts, attempts to acquire drink one handed. Also, you know the elemental suffixes, uh, prefixes. They are used for uh, verb, tense, aspect, and mood suffixes in the conlang, which is a novel idea. But that uh, kind of makes sense, except for the fact that it doesn't. Well, it, it does does make sense in the sense that, for example, uh, they well. If it's I a nice example. idea, but it breaks down once you contemplate alternative associations. AKA, it only works if you were humoured at some point. Ga is water, so it, it has the, it has a progressive aspect uh, uh, this associated is, this... with it because it's sort, sort of, you know, because it's a flowing kind of a thing, where, whereas uh, the mood suffixes are for 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 electricity, uh, or lightning is potential, uh, su, which is plasma, is means kind of... obligation, which I don't exactly I was gonna say, know. The, the lightning one is kind of clever, actually. I like that. But, um... Um, says, you know, probability, potential mood, which is interesting. Uh, an example of that, uh, the example sentences give us is Rahi Zyanuse o Zyakosu, which is if if the Rahi has attacked, then we will have to attack. Uh, <laughs> I think what they're wanting there is retaliate, but it's a good example. I'll give it that. Well, they both use the verb zya, so that, which is a very basic, basic example word because it's the only one we actually Limitation! have. Limitation. So. Um. Yeah. Uh. I think uh, if the, I go across the village one more time, I should be able to acquire enough kuri, and uh, 
uh, another Harakeke, and the Kuri I can get on the way back. I think there's no person suffixes. That's interesting. Oh, they we lost some. Pronouns, obviously. So they also have a negation suffix, which is good. Um, I, I, ha example, I don't know what a negation suffix is, Oyen so if. I don't know what it is, so if you will allow me to stab wildly into the dark. Um. Uh, so, in other words, like, for example, statement, not statement. Negation suffix is good. A suffix is something you add to a word in English, for example, for I, I, past, I know, you have the ed, I, when, and. What, what's a regular English word? I uh, I pronounced went and read. Pronounced. Went and read are both irregular English verbs. Lt. Thanks for trying, but I no am cigar. not a linguist. This should be clear to you by now. I'm the kind of person well, who tries to write a call line that involves brackets and pronounces based on the frequencies and time spent whistling. So in other words, I've invented yeah. a language that allows you to hack the phone company. Sweet! Um... <laughs> yes. Your mother is very offensive. So, um... Click free call. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to explain freaking for people to get that joke, aren't I? You finish, and then I'll explain freaking, and immediately increase the crime rate in the United States. Um... <laughs> Negation is just basically... Neg negating the statement not in English is not the... This is a good idea. This is a good idea not. I'm sorry. English has a contraction suffix uh, kind of a thing. So you sorry. have do, do not becomes don't. So it's kind of like a suffix. In Matoran it's a basic suffix um, ro. Uh, so like in Matoran voyad ro, it's the Matoran it, it's not it, go. It, Tiny bit into can I tiny bit interject here? Um, yes. amusing fact with most autocorrect things and contractions. Uh, the way a basic contraction is programmed into an autocorrect means that it stops passing anything one or more letters past the apostrophe, which means that if you include two apostrophes in a word and contract three words into one thing which technically isn't allowed, as long as both separate apostrophe sections are still valid, it will go, yeah, no, that's normal. Makes sense. Enough. Yeah, this is, which is really cool if you're like me and you like breaking autocorrects. I, I, I mean, <laughs> English has all this y yold the things going on, especially at, at the state. Uh, states. Uh, English is basically just a, we stole it from the name, uh, we stole it from everyone else, but yeah. yeah. Carry on, and yeah. then I'll, I'll go back to freaking. Yeah, because because originally English obviously had two second person part pronouns, uh, thou and you, singular and plural, but then you started doing the French thing, where thou is also input the uh, informal one and you is the formal one and and thou I'm sorry but that just seems so ironic to me that thou is less formal than you yes yes that that's why that's why you because your uh, your relationship with god is super personal so you thou god that's why it's that's why you thou God in the Bible, and that's why it, it sounds I, weird to you. Uh, one moment, I've just noticed this tiny little detail whereby the bag is floating behind the character because we're underwater. It's yeah. kind of obvious, really, but at the same time it's like, oh, that's cute. But it also means that there's no animation for me rooting around in the bag because um, it's behind us, and they didn't think of that. But no, so you, anyway, you so uh, you move to people move in English move to 
always referring to other people as you because it's more polite. Like, I, I, I already said on this stream, I thou thee thou hey heathen, which is a legitimate quote from an English, English I think, court proceedings or something, where, <laughs> where somebody was insulting someone by calling them thou. Wow. I England, thou I thee. thought we had standards. Yeah, I thou thee means I, I, I call you by informal pronouns, you lowly worm. You do not re re deserve respect. Thou, lowly worm. And that, that's why thou disappeared from common, common usage. So now you and, have... And now it just shows up when people want to try and sound quaint. Yeah, and... You no longer One know moment. how to. One moment. I'm sorry. I have to do this. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to apologise to Mads later, but that was so worth it. Yeah. And now you have you in both uh, both numbers, uh, both singular and plural in English, oh, um... which is confusing. So you be Paul. Uh, you people, I'm you guys, go you all. Yeah. But he just asked you. A, he just asked a very interesting question that I think you might actually be not. That you might actually have a minor conniption fit answering. May I continue the story to the end? Yes. Thank you. Uh, so, especially in in America, people have started using terms like you all, you guys, you people, yeah. uh, to indicate plurality. Or, and there you uh, get Only if you're in Georgia. It's kind of weird. You uh, all in, in the same way that Louisiana all. calls counties parishes and says that everybody who isn't from Louisiana calls parishes counties. Um, yeah, di di dialects are a thing, and second. y'all isn't exactly standard, but yeah, uh, contractions like y'all are pretty common in US English anyway, so you you ha you can con contract you all would have into y'all. <laughs> oh my god! And autocorrect would recognize that as a thing! Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> um, I have an urge to cite Ross Scott and his um, Game Dungeon follow-up video number one, where he commented that the best voice acting is occasionally more focused on putting the emotion into the words than it is on getting the words right. Which means they have a saying, and he then shows this clip where somebody runs into a bar carrying a broken bottle and screams the sequence of something at a guy in the bar. I don't know what he was saying, but it sounded threatening. Oh, Are you done? I, I'm sorry to keep interjecting, but this is kind of what's happening. I'm pretty much done, yes. We we got to okay. the... Okay, so... We got back to where I started the story from, the contraction of Yold. Right. Yold done it. I don't know. Uh, I've, I've heard this spoken, so it's not like just some random example I made up. Uh, 52. And I can pass it perfectly when I hear it, so that's one thing. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, so... Um... Ah, damn it, I'm gonna have to wait for Amaya to finish puttering about outside and go back to her hut. So, here's why I explained freaking. That's freaking with a PH, like phone. So, free... Oh, little head scratch. Uh, freaking is a process whereby you access a telephone, and we've lost a viewer. Uh, access a telephone, it could be your house telephone, it could be a payphone on the street, it could be whatever. Point being, you just have to have access to it. And you whistle down the phone line at a correct frequency. Now this sounds, sounds really incredibly difficult. 
Um, yeah, the usual solution to this is to get a whistle. Now, you could get one specially made, but it's cheaper and less noticeable to just take one out of a box of Crafting Crunch, because that's the right frequency. Um, no, seriously, the whistles they give away with boxes of Captain Crunch cereal are the right frequency. It's weird. Can I help you make flax? I shall trade Harakeke and Kuri for flax. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So, if you whistle down the phone on at the right frequency, and there we go, that's plenty. Um, the circuit with the switchboard at the other end gets confused. In the olden days, you wouldn't have a switchboard, you'd have an operator who you'd have to ask, please correct, connect me to this number, and they'd plug in the cables themselves on their end. Nowadays, the phone line uses some kind of audio system and listens to frequency tones, which, um, it's weird. The long story short is if you whistle down the phone line at the right frequency, it thinks you're another, it thinks you're another phone line and connects you to the other mainframes free of charge. So you whistle down a phone line and you get free calls. I mean that that only works if it's line telephone, doesn't it? Um Technically if you pick it up and you get a dial tone, it works. Uh yeah, but how many phones have a dial tone these days? I mean it probably won't work on a mobile phone. I have some flax for you. Goodbye, but now I can come... Actually, no, I'll leave the hut entirely. And then walk back in. Just to be certain that they don't still think I'm in the same loop of dialogue and keep making me give flax. Can I help with anything? I'd like some string. I'd like... A lot of string. Goodbye. And now to see the <laughs> cloth maker. And we've gained another person back. I, I know, you, I'm keep... Uh, have you comprehended the concept of suffix now, by the way? I've been... I... Mm, I'd like a net. Here I go. I could do the sailcloths now, but she'll be here later, and sailcloth isn't vital. Statistics. Uh, I had 62 no, earlier. Where? If I might, I should have 10. No, I have 16. Clearly, I've done my math wrong somewhere. Do you have the uh, fish hook? I have two fish hooks. I have. I do not have a bamboo oh. pole! I need a bamboo pole! Oh, Kotu. Uh... Thank you, Kotu! Not Maku. Which means I will not be able to go ah oh, as soon as I enter this house. Yeah. Goodbye, but also she asked if I'm busy. No, I'm not busy. Ah, oh, so it's just... Uh, it just triggers that dialogue, okay. Um... Yeah. Craft woman. Craft woman, are you in your hut? You are! Can you make something for me? I'd like a Koli stick. Whatever for? To play Koli? Again, I've ranted Koli. You may correct me if I'm wrong. It's a present for Maku or Kotu. Very well. No, it's a present for me. <laughs> and then Maku. Goodbye, goodbye. And now I must visit... I must visit Maku. And I must give her this curly stick. And she will pay me for it. And then I may go... And then I may go to... To, um... I have a curly stick for you. And have you paid me? You have paid me handsomely. Goodbye. Um. I... Oh, I've still got time. Huh. I I suppose I could um. Damn, whatever. I'll just collect more flags. Heads out to the outer edges of the village. So um. Actually, if I've just got time to kill, I won't head out to the outer edges of the village. I'll eat some kebab. Uh, if you have anything you want to talk about, now will be the time. Because I'm not going to interrupt you. I'll be eating kebab. Well, uh, I'm just uh, 
kind of reading up on the uh, Toran grammar. It's uh, interesting. There are numerous kind of complicated, uh, how should I say, structures in the language that are kind of hard to wrap your head around uh, at first. Especially the uh, uh, different types of questions and and uh, with the abundance of uh, reductions and redactions that you can do around. For example, I want to do it is Akai Suyaki or sorry O Akai Suayaki O Akai Kya. Which is, I it want that I it do, basically. I want it that I do it. Uh, there we go! Wait. Hark! The church bells! I like how I'm the first person in and I'm the last person behind everyone else. Like, they all overtook me on the bridge despite their incredibly slow waddling. We've read this scene three times now. Yeah. The swarms are gone. The Borok Kal are defeated. A time of peace has come upon us. Has. Although, admittedly, I'm insisting English grammar upon the Matoran people, which is very... It's patently obvious that I'm from Britain. Yes. <laughs> because I am... Oh, that's a key difference that I didn't notice. That's why they're taller. Mm -hmm. I wondered why they were taller. What are taller? The Turaga. The Turaga are very slightly taller than all the other Matoran. I say very slightly. Well, duh, they are not Matoran. This they is me. Actually, part they have elemental powers and can do and and can do things. Powers. Because and no spoilers. Can use mass powers. And stuff. And I say like the, the, the key well, difference you know being. Already. Yes, I do. I'm trying not to spoil it for all the other people on stream because we're trying to convince them to go read the comics, duh. Uh, I have more questions. Goodbye. I'm merely here to steal the key to the. Uh, key to the hut of the astronomer. Why did I say that <laughs> like that? <laughs> ah, I can delete section four because section four is now unnecessary. Ah, and I forgot an exit code. And I can cut the return string off the end of the exit code because I don't need one. But no, it's the central body. That they have a central body that's constructed out of different parts. Uh, you see? Of course you see, you're a fan of this. But like, oh, that's the difference. I wondered why they were taller. Like, design-wise. Well, no, but... It... You know what I mean! Tools, hatchet, three inventory slots. Would you object if I briefly stopped playing the game as such to start making notes on the exact statistics that I will need for later? What? I have the... I don't mean, like, close the game. But on the next desktop over, I have the very basics of the code outlined. It's just a case of me spending 5-10 minutes going, this part of the screen is here, this part of the screen is here, this part of the screen is here. And then I... mapping more buttons to that. That might work, but I don't know if that's necessary, strictly speaking. It's not necessary, but it would make this a lot easier. I'll give you the code afterwards. That's a terrible bet. You aren't going to take that. You're a linguist. What are you going to do with a program? 
I don't get the ones down there. I'm sorry, do I sound insane? Yes, yes, I do. Um, Not exactly. I sound like I should be eating more or... Anstede user naps answer unshaked than an egg. Esrenomek unsur usnaek nanshe asek nesus or esa. What is this? I was about to say, are you starting an ASMR channel that's just you reading out random phrases? <laughs> this I is should. like someone's old English uh, based uh, conline. Old English. Yes, old English. The old, actual old English for that would be Thorn with der Sterb Veina Geschwökum Anfängisch Öffel Ungemetum Rette Manna Gehwelkum Vehim Mizreste Huh? Nothing, nothing. We don't act. We don't actually know how, how it was spoken. I don't know. You're just saying words. <laughs> but pe people yes. people do. Uh, so thorn with der scarp uh, is uh, uh, thorn is exceedingly sharp. For any thane, they're gonna get welcome. Evil to touch. Anfängisch öffel. So, evil öffel. Well, again, Unge like I said earlier, Rette. welcome to Linguistics with Anta Reunen. I'm your host, Man, not Anta Reunen. Yeah. Despite dumping this in at least several different places, we're, we're getting surprising little viewer input. I was hoping this would be more like the, um, the normal. Um, if you want to go agree that uh, Mateo Skutnik's use of the moss meme is not dead, please go tell him that, because I can't be bothered to do that right now. The moss meme. Yeah, moss. You know, moss, every time somebody mentions moss, he brings up a picture of moss from the It crowd. Uh huh. You don't know who that is, do you? Uh, no. Um, the It Crowd is a show which is basically somebody who does not work in IT and the two IT people in the IT office. I have no better word for it, dickering around, basically. Sounds ridiculous, and it kind of is. Like, the plot of the show varies drastically from episode to episode. And while there, there is some vague attempt at an overarching plot, it's crap. I tried to watch it once, I just couldn't really get behind it, but um, they are the thing where the main shtick is, Hello IT, have you tried turning it off and on again? They are those people. They are the blokes who started that. And when I say blokes, I, I yeah, the, these are the people who, like one episode, they literally have a tape recorder sitting on the desk, plugged into the phone, that literally just goes, um, from where did it, was it that I buy holy balls again? Oh, it doesn't go there. Um, I'm trying to remember so I know which way to go, otherwise I would get lost, and confused, and angry. Andy? Andy? I am here. I, I, is it... Oh god, I'm trying to remember the name of the fire city and I can't. Forgive me. I want to say... Oh, uh, what? 
Takor is Chakor, the thank you. city. Tawar is... is the area. Thank you. Is this where you do I not know? But Manga is the volcano's name. Yes, yes, I know that Mangai is the name of the volcano. It is the Mangai volcano. Just as there is much issue with Pokoro nestled in it, Lekoro is in the trees. And in Powahi, there's this massive empty desert area with Pokoro somewhere in the middle of it. Mm. I just briefly forget. After the Toa Mangai, uh, the uh, Lee Khan's Toa team. Ah! Mangai means protector. Oh! Uh, next question. If you uh, Actually, I lied. First question. Same first question, in fact. Where is it that I buy Koli balls from again? Because I want to start an economy. Pokoro. Pokoro. Thank you. So I was going the right way. Scratching some junk off the screen. I find this lack of viewer input disappointing. Well, I, I, I was to be honest, we're not that interesting today. Stretching my bed, so that's... Did you just say stretching your bed? Scratching, but yes. I was going to say my stomach, but then my, I had a brain fart. I was actually doing that. <laughs> I didn't wish to know that. Good. <clears throat> I say, I say, I say. What do you call six core and dust cuts? I don't know. What do you call six core and dust uh, No! I fucked that up. Um, <laughs> it's what has eight wheels and flies. I don't know what has eight wheels and flies. Two core and dust cuts. I don't wish to know that. No, neither do I. Um, here, have a picture of Queen Victoria. No thanks, I'm trying to give them up. Have a gorilla. <laughs> My, they're stronger than monkeys. Um, <laughs> I am making jokes of um, the goon show. Don't the stone carvers, they, they don't seem to be doing that much. No, actually, no, they're doing quite a lot. Oh, I don't get the loud and annoying welcome music that I always get every other time I come um, to talk. Also, this is where we do the oh my god, ah oh, thing again. Because I'm going to go in Hookie's house. Aww. Aww. <laughs> He's got a little plushie of Maku. It's adorable. It's very adorable. It's like this was the closest that Lego would allow them to have a relationship, a plushie of each other in their house. I don't even know what. I, wait, it's like, what, what, what is this? Do the, 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 how does this work? Do they just like cuddle it or something, or is it, is it just there for the sake of having it? Also, I, I seem to be lost trying to find the market of Pokoro. I went past it on the way in. Oh dear. These Cody balls are one widget each. I'll take 50. I'll take another 50. I'll take five. What do you mean I cannot buy one Coley ball? You can only buy them in fives. And anyone else I'm sells guessing the ball. strength challenges need them in fives or something. Yes, the strength challenges need them, but like you mentioned, they sell for two in other places. So I can sell 105 and acquire 205 widgets for the 105 I spent. That makes sense. I know, you're the one who suggested it to me. This does, of course, mean that I shall be doing a lot of travelling between Powahi and Garkoro. Well, well you need... Why do you need 
Garkoro is the closest place I can sell them. You can them. sell them in Tarkoro for two widgets, is what I think I said. But to my knowledge, you, you, I thought you said you could sell them anywhere. If it's Tarkoro specifically, I have to go out my way a bit to get to Tarkoro, but... Um... But can't you just go... Go back and forth once? Uh, then when you go, you can buy 200 Collipols, instead of 400, and then you have 800 widgets when you go... Yeah! Go back. At which point, what? You only need to make. You only need to make three trips to get to. Yeah, but that. That many. To get to eight hundred, I only have to go back and forth three times. Yeah, okay. But it's still quite a bit of walking. Yes. H hello, Sundex, mm. and your wonderfully timed statement of oof. Uh, Out of Gloom has translated, my friend went to Kokoro and all I got was this stupid rock. To considering that they had to fit it on the rock, that's a pretty damn big rock! Lousy rock, you're like, <laughs> so, but yeah. Uh, um, the, the same, uh, yeah, because that's... The translation is, Pau hi o Pokoro i no o ai vukhanungo. Sounds about right. A friend of mine uh, went went to Koro in the past and transmitted to me this lousy rock. <laughs> I like how we don't have Gabe, but we do have lousy. This amuses me for reasons that do not make any sense. But still, damn big rock. Uh, I shouldn't mention this here, but I am currently looking for a rock at the moment. For what may quite possibly be the most ridiculous reason ever, but hear me out. Gone! Um, I am look- I'm looking for a rock, so I may create an Instagram account. Because people make Instagram accounts for their cats. So I am going to make an Instagram account for my pet rock. And have pictures like Rock Next to Stereo, rocking out to ACDC. Hmm. Uh, photograph of a rock in the garden. I shouldn't have taken it for a walk, now I can't find him. Uh, photograph of a rock in the library in front of a book. It's impressive. He only started it this morning. Nope, nope, nope. That's um, that's the room with Jala in it, who promptly asks me, "Can you come back later?" Not, "Can you come back later?" Can, uh, maybe you can come back later. Maybe, right? Right? Hello, person who buys coli balls. <laughs> I'd like to sell 50. I have more questions. I'd like to sell another 50. I'd like to sell the five that I have. Goodbye from your shop. Of course, I will eventually have to buy more Coley balls. But I can still buy more Coley balls. This is the wrong way. <laughs> is it? Yes. Um. <laughs> don't you just love how I think? <laughs> is this the wrong way? I don't know, it might be. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> you. Yes, you, something. You. You charming person. Or somewhere. Your caps lock button is stuck. So is your spell check. I advise you purchase new ones. But pay me for them anyway. I want to say this is very soothing. But, um... 
I, I, if I have to pick graphic adventure music game that is definitely soothing, uh, the music from Rama beats this. Uh, not entirely surprising, I, I think, although I have not played that game. Neither have I, but I'm trying to get it working on my computer because I really want to play it. It's based on an Arthur C. Clarke novel, and who liked this video? Seriously. All you've gotten is me rambling with and uh, you've gotten Auntie's insightful ramblings, uh, my instructions of how to hack the United States telephone companies, and, um, me just kind of wandering around. <laughs> Yeah, the buying and selling thing, I am definitely going to want to write scripts for, because... C can I please? Actually, no, I just realised something. The most you can do is boycott the stream. You can't actually stop me writing scripts for this. So sit that in your <laughs> pipe and smoke it. But don't actually do that, because that'll give you lung cancer. Uh, uh, yes, that would be helpful. Now time for a bionic approach. You again, said the pirata. I owe you some pain, Toa. You owe me a lot of things, countered Liwa. Like an apology to the universe for existing. <laughs> um, uh, 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 <laughs> the rock thing is awesome. Which rock thing? There are many- oh! Oh! I went to Powahi and all I got was- I went to Po- uh, Yeah, no, it would be Powahi, wouldn't it? Because it's not just Pokoro. You're going to the Wa uh, Powahi area in general. It's either Pokoro or Powahi, one or the other. I went to Powahi and all I got was this stupid rock. Well, oh, lousy. I have a shirt that says something similar. I'm sure everybody does somewhere. Hmm. Every the, rock, the rock thing is quite good, yes. Considering that they don't. No offense, but you sound like the guy out of the opening of Infinity Blade. Yeah. Uh, the... Welcome so, to the your shop. The guy also translated that bionicle quote I, I said with a Firaka and Liwa. He all, uh, translated to standard Matoran and then to Skakti dialect and tree speak, respectively. Oh, so wow! Is there anything else you can help me with? You've done enough. Yeah, the, the first is like, Angao, Oirahu Saoyaga Toa. What's even more impressive is they understand each other. dialect is Angao As. Koira Raksko Koekto, while Liwa's portion is Onahi Sawyale. E Onoai Avukai Ta Onoya, which goes to in uh, tree speak that's Unanai Suile, E Nonoi Wuka Wuka Tunoi. Number two should be one five five four ninety two, and the third one should be one five five six seventy six. One five five six seventy six. About. That's about correct. Uh, what's next? Uh, I'd have to code the up-down arrows next, but I can do that later. Right now, it just matters that I have those three buttons coded. This means that I must save the script, translate the script, script translated, and then make sure I go to the right page, Minog 2, Inventory Handling EXE, and if I press 1, if I press control 1, I click on the Cody ball. 
If I press control 2, I click on the sickle. If I press control 3, I click on the hatchet. That will be very useful. Of course, it only does this when the inventory isn't open, but, um, it's a work in progress. If I make it to the inventory thing toggles somehow, but there's no real good way to do that. Not that... Well, there might be. I, I'm, I'm trying to write code in my head, so if I suddenly develop Kranzberg Syndrome, you guys know what happened. Um... I'm probably going to have to write in some kind of exception logic for if the inventory is already open, um, which will be fun. But I think I can hijack some stuff that I've seen elsewhere to speed that up. Um, having it acquire a colibor. Uh, I'm going to have to write in buttons for the tools, supplies, and artifacts in the up-down options. And finally, me being me, I'm also going to have to plot how I'd convert this to widescreen to make it less terrible. I can't keep the tune straight in my head. It just means it's the fast travel theme from the first game. Uh, but lengthened to I sound think better. I did use some, some of the terms so that would not, uh, the song, so that would not be entirely uh, inconceivable. I say, cause it, that's the kind of subtle thing I'd do. I say subtle. Mm. But yeah, I'm gonna have to write in. Um, I'm gonna have to write in a return to original location exception. But I wrote that for the CW2 hack. So um, no, for the CW1 hack. Sorry. So that doesn't need to be new. I can just dig out that old program and botch it into a function somehow. Except you can't call key bindings inside functions, but that's fine because we're not calling key binding inside a function, we're calling the function from the key binding and entering different parameters depending on which key binding we called. Which means maybe I could... No, no, I... Thousand ways I could destroy you right now. Then do it. Nine hundred and forty-one of them. Hurt. <laughs> okay, that's pretty uh... good. Um, I think the best quote I ever heard uh, is not from Bio. Um, I want to say the best. I have like a list of best quotes because there's the ones that are child unfriendly. I mentioned though. I, I, you know the ones. Like the CIA warehouse one, which promptly caused my friend to go, Oh my god, you're not innocent. Ah! I'd like to sell 50. I'd like to sell... You cannot destroy me, for I am nothing. Oakoro kavoro. Tauro. Hmm. Nathan only sell them in batches of five, despite them using a base six system, which means we're saying one less than six repeatedly. <laughs> you know, for robots, you think they'd have a better. That's what I was going to talk about. But first, I need to go to the bathroom. Elven. 
we are left here alone together for the tales I could tell you oh 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 the people I could speak you to you of but I won't instead I shall keep rambling on in this obnoxious voice of mine about themes the subjects that do not in any way even come close to being or resembling even a simulacrum of meaning or purpose. Yes, I have decided, in essence, to just waste your time for eternity here while LT is taking a dump. Yes, these are my current predilections. This is true. Currently, they're looking at my talk, rubbing their little knobs, and walking around their heads from side to side and nodding. No, no, Can that's him see... scratching the back of his head. It's a very anime like Hello. gesture, but still. Uh, I was going to come back in with. Curse these um, trousers of madness, because I'm wearing trousers consistent with the first sign of madness, but, um, details. I did, by the way, find a really interesting quote, because this comes, uh, this is Nokama talking to Gali. Uh, I hope you remember who those people are. Nokama being the village, um, the village elder, the Turaga of the village of water, and Gali being the legendary person of the village of water. Is the Toa. The Turaga and the, and the says, Toa. You are so wise, Gali, yet know so little. You are swimming in my wake, Toa. There is nothing you can, nowhere you can go that I have not traveled before. That's both really demeaning, really impressive. Story time with Uncle Ante. Oh my god! Actually, it's well, more him you know, reading quotes in the con I wasn't line. reading quotes in this case, but... Uh... I mean, I can read that in the conlang if you insist. Oh, iru irua pagali. I just realised I can't type. Oh, I can't type because I'm running the script. You, you fiend! You have bested me for now. But point being, now I have a also shit ton of widgets. Which means I can go and buy a bunch of air bladders. And go to the do temple you, uh, beneath the oh, waves. Do you, do you perhaps, may, may perhaps remember uh, the movie Mask of Light? Yes. It has entirely been translated onto the Matoran language by this guy. Well, he has had ten years. I mean, he needed it, did it in a few months, but yes. Exactly. And, uh, I don't know if it was ever performed, but there were plans to, to uh, perform this speech by a few actors. I don't know if they ever... Ah, uh, that would have... On the one hand, I want to say that would have been awesome. On the other hand... I say on the one hand that would have been awesome because this sounds an awful lot like oh no I'm going to no I am going to the right place this sounds an awful lot like um ooh music is randomized nice see uh control two please thank you 
Um, this sounds an awful lot like the the plans of the voice acted version of Blue Sky. Uh, C anti sarcasm. I see. But um, uh, Blue Sky is quite possibly one of the better Portal 2 fan fictions out there. To the point where a couple of famous YouTubers have actually printed off entire PDFs of it and have them printed and bound on their desk with a cover and everything. Uh -huh. So surprisingly decent stuff, and it contains no smart whatsoever, so that's kind of impressive. Um, but um, anyway. at one point they were, yeah, try they were going to do like a red version of it for an audio thing. So, they have people like Harry Callahan, who has this wonderful Wheatley impression, and some software to make it sound like it's actually Wheatley and so on, doing various voices of Wheatley and Space and so on, because he's a big Portal 2 person. This was a couple of years ago, and they never actually finished it. There's like the first couple of chapters translated, and some scenes from bits of it, but it's still kind of like, huh, seems similar. I bring this up because that's just how I think, by the way. Like, yeah, I, I memorize cool. by cross-reference. It's a crappy system, but it works. Mm -hmm. It does look yeah, interesting, plus uh, the whole stream thing is, is fun too. What is the current plan, by the way? I mean the current plan. I don't have a plan! Going, I'm lying. to get speed first, is, it, is that it? Uh, no, actually, I'm going to go to the temple and get the Crystal of Purity first. Ah, yes, of course. Be because I security. because I don't actually need an air bladder for that, as I learned last stream. But I'm also planning on what to do next. Because I don't actually know. I mean, have you talked to everybody about... No, ideas? I need to do that, too. Well, Sasha and Kai and Marka hey. are the people you need to talk to. Oh, hello, Sasha. Will you trade with me? Haven't got my weaving with me, but if you stop by my house, <laughs> oh, it'll be great to work together. What are you doing? I'm delivering supplies. Who are you? I am Sasha, the weaver. Oh, I can't talk to them all they're wondering about. Yeah. I have to say the whole... Uh, religion-y parts are the worst written <laughs> parts of the game, and there's not much plot happening, so it's kind this of annoying. This is kind of what the... this is kind of what sort of gets me about this. It is the whole we're, we're taking this these principles as what's effectively a religion. For some reason, that just scares me slightly. Even though ordinarily I'd agree with all the underlying principles. Same goes with the Turaga Doom is watching you. Yeah, I'm not surprised. But I mean, for that's some not reason, as I just... much a religion as government propaganda, but yes. Um, no, I, I get government propaganda. I'm a fan of person of interest within the wires, and I'm particularly fond of the town of Desert Blossom from Nightvale. I believe the government is watching me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shipyard, like, uh... these boats are built for speed. They are made from very pure materials. Pure? Unity grants purity. Purity is what we strive for in Garkoro. Is that our job to keep the waters pure? If your mind is pure, you can have visions like Turaka no Kama and Turagali. And of Akama, but that's because he spent too long in front of a fire, apparently. Purity gar grants Gama Tolan's great speed. Here, yeah, since you're interested in purity, take the stone. It bears the symbol of purity. I've had it once a long time ago while cutting wood near the falls. Maybe it will help you somehow. Speed? Speed comes from purity. I use only the purest wooden seaweed in my boats. If you want to know more about speed, talk to Kai, the sailor. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Grunt. Yeah. I like Marka. Hello, Pelagio. Uh, the... Will you take me somewhere? Okay. I'd like to go to G6. That's 6. That's G... I think. We'll find out soon uh. enough. Like, some of these make a lot of sense as principles that they would follow, but then you have, like, the... 
when you have somebody who's like weaving and it's like yes i will now explain about the principle of unity yes the threads come together very nicely unity <laughs> and i'm like <laughs> really 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 Oh right, no. you can't actually come here until you have the three things, can you? Oh! <laughs> I screwed up royally there! Um. Uh. So that's Wait, a wasted you widget everything. of my, uh, 420, Why so... Why did you go down in the first place? I... I, I. Shut up. There isn't any, any reason why that would be a good idea because that would waste your widget anyway. It's fine. It's fine. I've got plenty of widgets. This is but a wound. I am not a disembodied head, Auntie. As far as you know. Come back! I shall bite off your legs! <laughs> I need to watch that film. Like, properly. Because the only time I've ever gotten to watch it is with other people. And that kind of ruins it because we always end up stopping halfway through for some reason or another. Old woman, I'm a man! I'm not dead yet! <laughs> I found a witch by the fan, huh? Is that even from that film? I don't, um, probably The Life of Brian. Yeah. I haven't seen seen those, but I, I've seen that ske sketch. We found a witch by the fan, huh? Weaving. It teaches a lot about unity. Unity is what makes us strong. Work. <laughs> and then the great spirit also... charges us. Pure. <laughs> Then the knight is knight or whoever is there like arguing. Well, well, why don't you do it, Peter Witch? We should be scientific about this. Let's put a uh, on a scale. What else floats? A duck. <laughs> and then they put her on the scale, and she's like lighter than the duck or something. And it turns out she is a witch. By the rule, so they can't burn her anyway. That's hilarious. I'll say, um, it's not because she's lighter than the duck, it's because they then deduced that ducks and witches must both be made of wood, and then weigh her against, like, 20 logs. Hmm. <laughs> We found a dumb. Maybe turn uh. Is it Friday today? I can't actually remember. Yes, it is. Uh, I have been listening to for some some reason. About like these, uh, a song of ice and fire, Game of Thrones. You mentioned uh, fear. Oh uh, my god! Oh my god! Not a Sundex? Not, not... No! Don't you dare! Actually, no, do dare. That's a fandom that totally needs your kind of love and attention. Um, sorry. Uh, it... not not about like the the. Very, very, very tangentially related to the story, but there's like interesting love. Apparently, a lot of in interesting Lovecraftian references in the story. Like, there's implications that there there are like Lovecraftian old ones, deep ones, fish people inter interbreeding with things and stuff. You do realize they haven't ran... finished the books, right? Well, yeah, sure, but, like, for example, I think it was, like, Island of Lang or something? One moment, I can't no, hear you over the sea. Thank you, sea. Carry on. Uh, 
Well, I'm not sure if it was Leng. I think it wasn't actually. It wasn't. It was some Giscari, uh, like prisoner colony, where they ha had all sorts of dark experimental magic going on. Because medieval. Uh, and they turned like beasts, dragons and stuff to women and had the prisoners uh, have sex with them to produce uh, half-breed offspring. I was trying, by the way, to avoid making this go to sex, but uh, you started this. <clears throat> and all the, are one or none. So that's unity. Unity is two. The theory is that is why the Targaryens, you know, you know the lady with the white hair. Uh, no, I don't because I haven't seen the show. But I do know who you're talking about. They're the people who um used to rule, got thrown out for interbreeding, amongst other things. Yeah, and they and, um, yeah. they sometimes give birth to lizard. Like things. dead lizard, lizards and stuff like that because because From... we don't know why. We, uh, the theory goes Unity. that the Targaryens uh, have the ability to control dragons and uh, resist fire as well as they do because they are descended from these dragons. And, like what what comes to mind is, is vaguely the um. The Huntic, um, the, the Huntic Phoenix, which was something like, so you're saying she just jumped into the lava and she survived. What's more likely that it happened is the Phoenix saw that she jumped into the fire to prove that she was the one and then granted her total fire immunity before she died rather than literally making her rise from the ashes. But she survived, so that's all that's important. <laughs> Yeah. Huntic being a kind of interesting show that was interesting. Th th these are the guys who have the, the hammer of Thor, which um if you carry it alone, you will eventually be unable to carry it any further. If someone helps you carry it, you can carry it forever. And can only be used by two people at once. Like, oh, quick, giant thing outside, let's kill it. Okay, you take hold. I'll take hold of here. Turns around, passing it between them. One, two, three. Thonk. Thing outside blows up. They walk a few miles and find it buried in the ground up to the hilt. Check it out. Walk off with it. As you do. Um, from... From Cleo. From Cleo, yeah, Cleo what is granted... Which Speed. it would be, uh... Correct. Purity. Speed. Or speed. Because it's subtly saying from purity. Uh, this also proves that I have memorized the solution to this puzzle and it's not randomly generated. One. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I am right, I am totally correct, and if I'm wrong, you get to laugh at me. We find out in a minute. I am totally correct, and you do not get to laugh at me. I am so very sorry. Why? Why? What is with the implication? The, the horrible, horrible implication <laughs> that I would enjoy laughing at you, or anyone. How dare you? How, how durst thou? Tastes. Tastes. Are you done? Things of such nature about me. How oh, dost thou? Ah! Hate that noise. That's like somebody's trying to depend me. One moment. Ah! Uh... Somebody's be... trying to what now exactly? Trapen. You haven't heard of Trapenic? Uh, no. one five five two one two. I have not heard of Trapenic.
Uh, trepenning is the act of drilling a hole in someone's head. Oh. 145777. Well, seven. Uh, just like defenestration is the act of throwing someone out of a window. Uh, welcome to the Vicious Crimes episode. Yeah, but... I say vicious crimes. Earlier I was telling you how to freak, so... Vicious yeah. might not be the right word, but... <laughs> yeah, but... Defenestrate is D out of fenestra window. Bangs head so, against wall. Uh, oh, I could do that! Ah, it's the, it's the crying yo-yo. Or the chromatic yo-yo, however you want to say it. I hear I got this mood ring. Hey, why does it keep curtain changing colour when you wear it? I'm bipolar. I would quite enjoy both of those things. Uh, defenestration and fitting and trepenning. Getting holes in your head and getting thrown out of a window? Or perhaps banging your head against the wall. <laughs> or maybe. Better yet, combine all three! Bang your head against the window till you fall out! <laughs> and if any of you ever says re, I will prove to you exactly what re means, you bastards. Sorry, I don't like the use of re. These are very pleasing forms of torture. Autistic screeching. Yes! Considering I am autistic, of course I'm going to be offended. Well, that doesn't necessarily follow. I mean, to be fair, it could very easily follow. Like, it, I... True. I shouldn't say that it definitely follows. I want to say that it probably follows, but I might be offending some small minority there. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, all three. All three at the same time. Um, no. Uh, yeah, it makes you feel all better. three uh, of the five things I mentioned, yes. Um, error could not... Oh, right, I need to end the script. One moment. Shift end. Yay, the override command works. I don't have to worry whether that's going to break on me later. And I can relaunch in handling and... Well... It appears that I did not actually, um, oh, uh, what if I, okay then, uh, so I broke the program. <laughs> That's why I didn't include 155 first. Which means you clicked for a delay of 177 seconds. Apologies, I'm also writing hotkeys for this Flash game. Yeah, for some reason. Because I have to do it several hundred times. Uh, Fair it's just... enough. It's very static, is it? Well, it's not actually working currently, so... I, I, I might have, I think I used the client values instead of the correct values, or maybe I screwed up somewhere else. Either way. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Da, 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 da. Was that meant to be Bohemian Rhapsody, or are you just insulting people? <laughs> it's linking up. <laughs> Not no, but um, yes. No, uh, um, I don't know what to sing now, because now you've got me wanting to sing. Please do not sing. Neither of us is actually very good. <laughs> I will stop if you want. <laughs> I didn't say you were bad. I'm just saying I didn't know the song. Now where to go? Well, I, where I, to... I... No, but I said I am bad. And, and, 
It is weird we're talking about this because I just played a very interesting game. In fact, it's my first time playing a game in this genre. Well, what game was it? Crying. What was it? Was it uh, Ethanom? Oh. Was it Rama? Was it um, Mist? Maybe not Mist. Um, what what graphic adventure game was it? Please. Was it a Voyanui Adventure? Which yeah, is the, the next game after this? Th there by are the way. two. There are two genres. To give you an idea what it's about. There's a short paragraph from the game. My physical format is not as merely a visual magnetization of my demonic soul and transventional power. Yep, okay, so it's a 1980s graphic adventure game with um, some kind of overbearing control issue. But um, it sounds very you, so you'll enjoy it. Why did I just describe that, myself? Um, <laughs> Moving on! Is it... Uh, is it some sort of a My Little Pony game? You are ashamed of some... Um, it's okay. We know some things about games that people here have played that they're ashamed of too, but I'm not going to let on because it's their own choice. Uh -huh. there, Interesting that choice of word. Uh... I can't hear it, my but some part of me is whirring vaguely. Not, merely a visceral manifestation of my demonic soul. Reminds me of Makuta from the end of the first game. I mean, it's not technically the first game, but the first Metanoi Online game. Um... I can guess, actually, Maybe. this Gaia? Is it maybe this, this gear? I can't spell it from memory. Um. But it sounds very disgaea. Or disgaea, disgaea, how have you pronounce it? Did you, did you expect something else? Something like this? Crash, tentacles everywhere. It was, it, I, I love that sequence. I, I'm, uh, I'm not even ironic, and I don't care about everybody else's. <laughs> oh, oh, coffee. sorry. Were you expecting something that you were allowed to, to kill? Like maybe. <laughs> if it were me, I'd have just kept looking like the cute little Matoran just to screw with them, rather than doing the massive death. Because while that's awesome as a fight sequence, it immediately takes away your invulnerability because you no longer look like a Matoran. Although, technically, we don't have any other Matoran in the scene to compare heights with, but if we did, I'd figure it look, would look more like a Turaga, just because he's wearing a, um, a Kanohi. Well, it's, well, it's a, uh... You're just happy I remember the terminology, aren't you? Ah! Uh, it's a, it's an infected Kanohi in this case. The whole Matoran was infected, which was interesting. Not a thing you normally see. Man was surprised no, the total load balance. It is not a game I expected myself. If you remember, it did involve tentacles. If, if you, um, if you remember the comics, there was a was a part where a crater had infected masks of several Matoras. Um, no, I remember that they mentioned that Krata infect masks. But to my knowledge, we'd only seen that in the Rahi. Yeah, but this is Ricky! Like we got him a nice new clean mask whole and everything! Where I, I, I think Liwa uh, isolates it in a cyclone or something. And they are able to save the Matoran. It's a really off. off, off of the cup uh, thing. Oh, they mentioned this because they, they like come to a clearing when Matoran are acting Two weird. Uh, and boom, they are all infected. And look, there is a crater. And, and oh, I have to. 
isolated in a cyclone. What is this creature? Turaga, tell me. And then Oniwa tell, takes uh, 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 one of the Toa into the chamber where the Turaga have collected thousands ah. of Ah, yeah, I did read that, but I missed the first part. Um, two and two. Uh, let's try it on two, six, three, and... Yeah. Yeah, crots are like the mechanism by which uh, the three. masks get infected in the first. Two, six, three. Uh, eight, one, eight. Save, quit. And to those Calculate. of us uh, in the presence, in the audience, who do not know what crats are, crats are essentially these leech, leech, like, leech <laughs> mixes of a snail and a snake, slimy little leeches. I, um, that, no, 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 that, I say slug, not snail, because they have, it's not like they have a shell. Well, they slug, shells? yeah, and they, they, like, slither on the ground. And, and when they touch a, uh, a mask, it gets infected with uh, the evil influence of Makuta, basically. And the crots are, are sort of excreted by Makuta from their body, in some sense. He can just pull them out. Or, or, yeah, go out ahead and just body. make this weird. Well, we have, uh, Makuta have the ability to manifest things. Uh, the original job of the Makuta in the Makoran universe Sorry, was I can't, to I... create Rahi, the popular. Um, Rahi is the Makuta. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can talk now because the massively loud Powahi, you have arrived! Da da da! Music has stopped. <laughs> Yeah, so... Anyhow, back at it again with Andy, with LT, Andy, and Cry, and the chaos that are these streams. Great to be back. If it makes you feel any worse, I have here with me a kebab. Still. I'm the one making it weird, man. How am I making Where it? is the lie? Where is the lie? <laughs> Nowhere, because it's true. What? I uh, I was the one who s just said, explained what happens. You're the other one who was like, ha ha ha, penis! Anyway, that's not the point. Um, what I was going to Charm say, strategy. what was I going to say? I don't know, what were you going to say? Yeah, the... You remember the, 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 uh, the Makuta are some kind already... of auditors of the universe. They, they were or... originally built like built to be sort of co controllers and guardians of different sections of the Matanui robot, and they were tasked with creating Rahi to um, create an ecosystem. But but somewhere around eighty thousand years ago or so, they started to gradually move towards being evil. Uh, they, they, when they were still semi-good, they became uh, known for stopping the Matoran civil war in Metsunui mm. by basically lock, locking thousands of Matoran soldiers in, in the, into the archives and rele releasing uh, blood-hungry Rahi on them, killing them all. Or what? something, something like that. What? Mm -hmm. Yes, I know you're eating, but your your enthusiastic moaning is 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 is, is, is distracting. So uh, they're not evil. They just moved civil war soldiers into the archives and then set things upon them, so they were no longer so civil war oriented. Well, dead people. Fight no war. I'm sorry. Um. Uh, and because dead people fight no wars, uh, the war stopped. But but then the Makuta turned on 
on on the Toa and uh, the, the Dark the Hunters Brotherhood and Makuta again started fighting against them. Their protective Toa teams were killed by the Makuta or used for experiments in some cases, and um... stuff like that happened. Like there, there were about a hundred Toa in the service of the Makuta as sort of uh, protectors, bodyguards, and uh, uh, all round good guys. Er- yeah, and errand boys, special Toa in golden and silver armor and stuff like that. Very fancy. You are just a little Matoran in Toa armor with delusions of adequacy. Quite illusions of adequacy, as Minitiki put it. Minitiki Toa, though, wasn't even an elite Toa. They were just, you know. He was just a wrong place, wrong time, and now he enjoys that. But um. Yeah, they, they, this is tens of thousands of years after Makuta became definitively the... evil, though, when Minitiki came around. I, uh, Toa Duma, I think, became uh, the Turaga of the island around the to 17,000 years to ago, victory. and uh, uh, around 11,000 11, years ago was when Lee, Lee Khan's te- team arrived and defeated the Kanohi dragon who was terrorizing Metronui and uh, became the de, de facto. Uh, protectors of Metronui, of... or the eleven of them. Then they were slowly killed by Dark Hunters, and several of them, uh, Nidhiki and Tyet defected, all that stuff. Quite uh, which left Lee Khan as the last one who made uh, the Toa Met- Metru, the uh, Turaga of this game. So uh, uh, then we have two one, movies. Four, or... and, years of story explaining what they did they were Toa for barely a year I think for all together and saving the Matoran from Makuta's attack and so on ah 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 that's better um strategies demise and now they have been living on this island a Suraga for a thousand years with all the Matoran who have lost their memories. Creation. Strategies, designs as creation. Demise. Well, that was def- definitely done, not demise. I don't think I actually have this one. Strategy's Demise is something else. Which is weird, because I had it last time. I don't have it now, though. Well, for Koro, I think you need uh, the Charm Swamp of Koro and. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll head to. Or, like, Destiny, I think. Destiny, thank you. Um, which is, I believe, Lekoro? I I R C. I I I just said the Kokoro, the ice village, has to. Whatever. I'll go in that direction. I'll just trust you because you're right, and I refuse to admit it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like a champ. Have you? It's we like watch a show about a, 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 a. Uh, did did you even I ever don't know play you the uh, uh the balancing game in Bakora? I don't think you did. It gives you willpower, which is not super useful according to The balancing to game online. in Pokoro. Pokoro. Coco. A O A O R O. No. Willpower is basically your I, I would like to... ability to resist 
the ball being stolen from or something. <laughs> Auntie. Getting grumpy with me for not remembering things perfectly is just gonna get me grumpy at you. Capiche? I I am not grumpy at you for not remembering. I am grumpy at you for not hearing what I say. It is not my fault there is massive amounts of game audio. I will turn that down. It is no longer my fault that there are massive amounts of game audio. Um... <laughs> and we can hear the scream of the birds that... Their name I can't remember. Uh... Gukko? Yes, Gukko birds, Carl. thank you. Gukko birds. Gukko is the, uh... The, the, the big one that... Generals. Mm. The one that you rode as a second on in the first game. Thank you, Takuba. I think that's a that's technically a Goko Kahu or something like that. But a Guko bird is oh. a general term for the entire species. Of those it's birds. a bird bird. Is the word. Quite you hate the me. bird is I have a... Ah, it is the sales person. Welcome to my shop. If you see anything you like, let me know. I buy things. The buyers can't afford to buy things. Contemplating country cottages? Wasn't that actually what I wanted to say? But yes, that's one thing. It's happening. Um, Kopeke that, says... That's again a reference to Kev Icarus's video where he, he reviewed the Lego uh, park, theme park building game <clears throat> where there's this annoying narrator who uh, uh, narrates everything and it, it, has, it has lines like The builders can't afford to build things. The gardeners can't afford to plant things. <clears throat> Kopeke says Who are you? Goodbye Kopeke is so silent Even for Kopeke this is quite silent I don't know why um, they went uh, I the think I think what you mean is <clears throat> Even for Kokoronans He is quite silent Quiet, yes. Yatiko? You may correct me if I'm wrong. Yatiko? Who are you? I am the architect. Architect? I look at a snowflake, I see a monastery. I look at the snow, I see destiny. Destiny? You shall unite duty and destiny. You are the bringer. You are the snowflake on the mountain. Here is destiny's charm. Symbolizing all that will be as comes from all that was. Goodbye. Yeah, the, the Kokoronans are very cold people. Metaphorically and literally. For the benefit of Cry, he may not have been, he might not have been here the last time we came to Kokoro. Mm. Kokoro is... Uh, Kokoronans are... Uh, like all Komatoran generally, very... Uh, uh, simple uh, meditation oriented people <clears throat> Artikin says who are you? Arthinen. I am the ice smith Artikin Arctinen can you make something for me? if you bring yeah. me two nails, a bamboo pole and some seaweed I can make a flag okay. wait, hold on, where do you get nails oh. from? All oh, right, he tells you. Such things are found in other villages on Mata New Year's. I'm certain you know. We do not make such materials here in Kokoro. Goodbye. 
I think you can make those eyeballs. Right, guys, how long is this game? Uh -oh. Guys, guys, uh, very long. I will probably uh -oh. be streaming this tomorrow and maybe the day after. Yeah. It's right. not that the game is technically long, but you have to do a lot of busy work to be able to, like, have this... The, the game uh, basically requires that you win six Coley games in succession. Which uh, requires a lot of busy work. Yeah, you, and you cannot do that unless your stats are high enough, and getting your stats high enough requires a lot of money, uh, which requires a lot of running around, buying collie ball balls and selling them, and then doing mini games hundreds of times. The mini or, games like, also have requirements. Uh... <clears throat> it's kind of Buddh Buddhism, Taoism inspired, although very Buddhism light. <laughs> that they meditate to read the ancient symbols that the um, the Taraka wrote, but don't tell them that. <clears throat> uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Todo says. Todo, but, but uh, Todo is not actually finished. That's. Dodo, it would be the Matoran reading for the gone line. I wait. Wait? I am at peace. Peace? From destiny comes peace. To know destiny, you must know peace. To be at peace, you must control your will. Will? Have you ever been to the Wastes? Wastes? There is a hermit who dwells there. He knows of willpower. Hermit? He dwells by the ice flow. You, to find your way in the wastes, you must use flags, or you will be lost forever. Plant what? Um, ba basically, just you need flags to get to the guy in the wastes who lets you do the balancing mini game, which is why I haven't done the balancing in mini game. Makes sense. Because I need nails. On that note, shall we go say hi to? Shall we go say hi real quick to um? To Turaga. Is it Turaga Nuju? Nuju? Is yeah, sure. Um, is the ice ice Turaga who speaks Turaga birds? Turaga Nuju of Okoro, who speaks bird speak, and is translated by Matoro. They are in the great temple. I know. I'm there right now. If you, if you spoke to Matoro, welcome Harley into Mount Ihu. I am Matoro. You are here to defeat us in Koli. Nuju bids you take comfort here. Goodbye. I want to talk to the actual guy. <clears throat> talk to Nuju. Click, click. Who are you? Click, whoop. Nuju to click. I don't understand. Clack, click, Matoro to whirr, clack, clack. I like how it's mechanical birds. So they have mechanical sounding bird noises. So there are clacks and clicks and whirring sounds amidst the beeping and the and the tooting and so on. It's like, that, that's adorable. Click wood, Nuju. It's adorable. I don't know why I find it so cute, but I do. But, but you, you take come here, Nuju. Turagu of Takoro. Um, kill me. Uh, Turagu, Turaga of Kokoro. He is translated as speech, so I speak for him. I wouldn't really call it an improvement. <laughs> is there something you? Is there something I may ask him for? You. Who do I play against? You shall face Kopeki and myself. You shall learn to match our will and prevail. This saddens him, but it must be if we are to survive. Kokoro. The sounds of screaming in the background. Uh, in Kokoro, we contemplate the destiny of Mata Nui and all its people. Mount Ihu? Kokoro is cradled in the slopes of Mount Ihu, highest of Matanui's peaks. On Mount Ihu, nothing grows, and nothing changes. The mountain is perfectly at peace. If I may interject... Yes? Ihu is... ...named after Matoran, who has... ...who died... Uh, in the past, the Comatoran. I believe you mentioned so him. 
but yeah. They met, met, named the uh, place in his honor. Cute. Is, uh, ah, 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 Ihu. Uh, all co and strive to reach a sublime state of peace. The Trapper has attained the greatest level of this discipline. You may speak of it if you ask. Destiny? The architect spends much time meditating on the virtue of destiny. Survive? I'm sorry, but his language has become too difficult for me to comprehend. I do not know what he means by this. Okay. Goodbye. Be uh, at peace. Go I check. Uh, Ihu was... Uh, He's from the comics. Uh, a He's a the student... A of student of Nuju, uh, who was uh, became a close friend, but died in an accident when a Nuirama attacked a shoot he was riding. I have this urge to grammatically correct cry, um, cryo, but I might be incorrect in my correction. Could you please tell me if it should be hyphenated, or if it doesn't matter? Because technically it's a prefix. Yo, wow, yaika. Kiki, yaika, papi. Are the last words of Matoro. One moment. Twenty-nine? No, I think I'll trust the default. 77, 134, 146, 77, 134, and 100 and... I want to say it was 46? Yup. Save that updated copy. I won't compile it right now because I'm too lazy. Depends, still learning that so you're not going to say. Again, I was asking Anti and his response was to hand me a string of Matorans, so... I actually, no, I think for distinction purposes we should say Mator and Conlang. Although, admittedly, this is me turning this into Heptopod A and Heptopod B. So. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. It's like, because the written language and the spoken language may not necessarily collide, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, the. There's a. Technically, uh. Matoran language, we only know, know a few words and some garbled grammar rules on how adjectives would work. And that's in noun clauses, and that's about it. But for the sanity of the players, they simply put everything in, in um, English grammar rules. Well, yeah, it's translated to English, basically. Oh, I, I forgot to say goodnight to Reed. There's also the slightly, uh, like, Biosector 1 seems to have taken the position that 
uh, Matoran is basically English with weird words stuck in, which is laughably lame. I don't know. Uh, depends how far you want to really go into, like, the world building. Yeah, they... Like, the so, Matoran language is a thing. Canonically speaking, you'd want to make it as com you'd want to make it as I, I don't want to say convoluted because that means it could be simpler, but again, I'm a native English speaker and not much else. Um you could make it match English and just cheat or whatever, but uh, it, uh, the, the... Well this was before conlanging was really a big thing. Like, let's see, when did, uh... Oops. Okay, so apparently for some reason the program shut down? Well, there should be a yeah, return of after... That... The, uh, like, the Lord of the Rings movies had started coming out. So that's like... Well, the the main start of the conlanging boom in 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 media. I love has how happened, but I love how the main conlanging boom was also unintentionally started by New Zealand. Well, kinda. I mean, it, it was bound to happen because Tolkien did have the languages already, so it was semi easy to have dialogue written. Ambient, co um, ambient, Pokoro ruins what? Yeah. Although Tolkien's languages were much more complete, they, even though they lacked quite a lot of smaller details um, about I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that they were mostly complete. He was a linguist, or a. He was either yeah. a linguist or a historian, one of the two. But that he's come up he with was, a, he a was language a that's yeah. relatively like he was a conlanger first and a and a writer second, definitely. I, I, no offense, but I tried reading Lord of the Rings and I've made it through it, but I've had to reread it a couple of times and I don't pick up on the fine detail because to me it, it just feels too Charles Dickens. I'm writing 50 words, so I get paid for 50 words. Kind of thing. It's like, it feels like it's trying to drag out. This is like the reason I don't like a lot of the old works, because they just... I, I don't like it. It's like you're dragging it out, you're not really describing anything. Like, for example, the door knocker in A Christmas Carol. Having undergone no intermediate process of change. <laughs> like, seriously? What the hell were you thinking, Dickens? Purple prose, my friend. It's not prosaic, it's excessive. Well, that's what purple prose means. <laughs> Twit. This reminds me of back when I tried to write an HK script that would theoretically play Submachine. Or more accurately, would map the four sides of the screen to push button controls so you wouldn't have to move the mouse manually to click on the exit bars. Or you wouldn't have to move the mouse manually to click on the teleporter buttons. Except that doesn't work. Uh, not yet anyway, because what I can do is I can learn how to do. Um, if I'm just walking around carrying this sharp axe, uh, I could theoretically learn how to do sprite stuff with AHK and tell it to search for sprite of key binding. Sprite of key binding? Sprite of image. And feed it parameters like, um... Like the buttons. On the teleporters. I am now walking through the village, slicing and dicing all the bamboo. For I will need a shit ton of bamboo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, let me do some quick math in my head. 
300 and it's five is it five per oh, jesus christ of course it is 300 times five is 1500 well that's 15,000 isn't it oh cool you do that thousand hundred thing too with double digit numbers I'm not well, alone. I do it because English people do it. I don't do it in Finnish because it's disgusting. Oh, thank you. The go ahead and has. just go ahead and just make me feel dirty opening my mouth. I, I, I do have to like the wave animation leaving those things, the wet patches in the ground. It is kind of cute. No, I say cute. I'm, um, here I'm using cute as in, oh, they added in this little detail that they probably didn't need to, but somebody clearly spent some time on anyway. How sweet of them. I'm specifying uh -huh. this because I'm getting weird about that. Not only today I was talking to somebody uh, as part of a ro- oh, oh cry, oh, is there something? I just use auto clickers and tell it when to click how many times and how- where to click how many times and how fast. Yeah, the catch being I'm writing my own auto clicker. <laughs> Except, the thing with submachine is the exact locations move. My original intent here was to write a su uh, an AHK script so you could play Submachine on a video game controller. I was specifically setting up for Submachine Universe to be played on a video game controller. So I could play Submachine Universe on a video game controller. Because I am weird. Can I just say, that's a terrible axe-swinging method. Though admittedly, given how inflexible their arms are... Yeah. Did you get all the... Yeah, you did. Never mind. I'm running around the village getting all the bamboo because I need several thousand bamboo. Can't you buy this? You probably can, but I'm weird. Like, you've seen me playing Half-Life, you know you are, that... You may... Yes, but you are weird to you have an audience. I think we... Considering we can... We have I, a source of infinite money, we should probably... I, I, I don't that. try to be weird for the benefit... I do not try to be weird for the benefit of the audience. I'm just me. I figured the audience will come to me. Uh, admittedly, that's the same bullshit story I used when my school asked me to write a newspaper article about BGM6. What? Um, amongst other yeah, things... Back when I did BGM6, I was working on the script at school, which meant that I'd work on it during my break times and I'd have to keep shoving the twins away. Uh, the twins are a couple of kids at my school. Uh, God bless their souls, they're 13, but mentally they're about 9, and I'm really, really scared that place is going to... is going to break them. It was this work by setting location on the screen in very low-level stuff. That would have been pretty cool. Um, I'm worried that that school is going to break them. Because they're physically 13, but mentally they're about 9. The school doesn't compensate for that. Sanctimonious bastards. But, um, yeah. But no, so, um... Where was I going with this? Uh, so I kept having to move. Um, but this means that I'd edit the script while I was at school. And then again when I was at home, and again in my spare time, but so on. Eventually I finished the script, sent it off to APARC. And, um... And he said, go, when I started recording all my lines and sent him the 37 individual voice lines. And his response says, wait, did you record the entire video 37 times? And I was like, no, I did them individually. 
I broke them up for you. So if you want to put like different gaps in between things, you can do that. You don't have to worry about how slow I was being. But my point being, he puts up BTM6, and I promptly go and tell people at school. And it's a school, so news travels. And eventually, like, one of the deputy head teachers comes down and goes, We're doing the, uh, we're doing the newsletter next week. Do you want to be in it? And there is, there, and there is, like, the two, and there are, below, there's... A picture of me, some various numbers and video game symbols, uh, the, the small article I wrote, and the thumbnail for BTM6, BTM6, the extended bit, and a shot from the middle where they've got that um, green screen logo with me, an Apox logo. <laughs> and like, I, I, I downloaded this and I have a copy of the newsletter on my computer so I can look at it anytime. Moving around the screen like that should be fairly simple, oh, but doing that. inputs on the portal and picking up items would have to be done with other buttons, for example. Yeah, that's my point. So, make it so the joy controls bind to WSAD, WSAD bind to the four sides of the screen. Uh, eventually figure out a way of the program detecting hitboxes, because it can detect hitboxes, and then have it bind to the relevant four, rescan every time you move. So every time you call WSA or D, call some kind of counterparameter that updates the values and rescans for the four sides. Once you've determined the four sides, do the same thing every screen to check for a portal. I'm not doing items here because I've got a manual mouse movement to pick the um thing. I've actually got the game controller with me, so I can determine which buttons I'd use. Uh, I myself had the trigger buttons bound to clicking, but make it so that X, Y, and B are the um, enter digits buttons. A is the enter is press start button left and right trigger to pick up items in the game, but it doesn't actually do the inventory thing. Um, I think I can set it to look for sprites specifically, so I can tell it, look for the sprite of 000. When you find three of those in a row, find this thing relative to it, and then set these values, but, like, mm, the only catch would be places like the Escher Room, where you'd run into issues like, um, the X, Y, the, the XYB value would abruptly invert, but I'm hoping that you'd be able to compensate for that by being a logical human being and just thinking. You are relying on human intellect. I know. Sounds dangerous. I know. But I'm going to playtest this, and I will quite happily send copies of the program out to other people who want to playtest it. I need to go yell at Kjax again and see if I can get him to give me the listings of the um, specific key bindings for his ship control script. Uh, Kjax wrote a script for um, Creeper of uh, no, not Creeper of Particle Fleet that um, allows for a game controller to move a ship, except it worked in a certain variant of Java and it doesn't recognize my particular brand of controller. So I want to write a variant program using a HK that handles that automatically because I'm weird. <laughs> First few things are simple, the rest of it's complicated. Uh, yeah, but I've got the entire help document now because I re-downloaded it. And re-downloading it was a pain in the ass. Chrome wouldn't do it because it recognized it as being malicious, so I had to go through Edge because Edge is less secure. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so we're starting in Le Coro. We are going to try the Le Coro challenge. Because I am a... I don't know. I'd like to buy a disc. It's not particularly weird to stop. Throwing the discs are point one widgets each. Zero point one. So you can buy ten for one widget. Yeah. Or. 500 for 50 widgets, and that's twice as many as I'd theoretically need, assuming that I never missed a shot. And, uh... I've got 400 widgets. I'm happy to burn 50 on discs. Yeah. And if I have to, I'll come back. But no, seriously, those are cheap as shit. 
If I'd known that, I wouldn't have wasted my time getting all the bamboo, but I can make that into poles and sell that in other villages. I'll make it into poles and use it for flags to get to that weird guy, the hermit, who, um, will train me in the art of the... Uh, I think you have to will. make nails from protodermis. Yeah. Or something like that. You uh, need to go nail... to Onokoro. And... Yeah, I figured you'd... Wait, Onokoro? Ah, alright. You have four protodermis and then you get nails from Takoro or something. Ah! Uh, uh, for some reason I've decided to talk to Kumo. <clears throat> so, here's me attempting to do a, Lacaro a Lacaronian dialect. Hello, Gamatoren. It is a long road from Gakoro. Are you here to trade? Oh. Who are you? I'm Kumo, the crafter. Trade? Throwing discs, if you bring me bamboo wood, I'll make a disc for you. You can get up to ten discs at once. Wait, hold on. How much bamboo is that for a disc? Five per disc. If that's five per disc and a pole is two, and a pole goes for however much, it might be cheaper just to make all the bamboo into poles and then buy them from the shop. Just saying. Hello. Wait, what is this? It's an accuracy charm, I never noticed that before. And of course it uses a, a scope thing as the logo. Hello Harley, are you here to play us in Koli? Tell Taraga Matara when you're ready. In the game that comes, you must beware our keen shot skill. Who are you? I am Tamaru of Lekoro. I am Leaf Runner and left hand of Taraga Matao. I do not cuckoo fly. Though, no. instead I tend to the disc range. Skill? Here in Lekoro, our principal grants us great accuracy. If you train long and hard, you can gain accuracy too. I would like to train in accuracy. I think what we're going to learn here is that I'm a crap shot. Probably. But that's uh, acceptable. Just hit one more target. There we go. Accuracy plus one. <laughs> and I... I don't know how many misses that was. Skill? I would like to train. I like how this is 23 kilobytes of a game here. Dun, da, da, da. Now do that 50 more times. <laughs> um. I'll do it in batches of fives before recording. I would like to train in accuracy. I'm going to... As you put it, leak some oil or whatever. And I stopped uh... doing that when I started playing this because that would just feel awkward, but okay. Fine. Yeah, these characters don't leak oil. But they yeah. don't, to my knowledge, they don't eat either. Yeah, so. Closest they come to eating is having that weird energy. More references that I don't get. I believe we are, we are on three. So three, uh, that was round three, this will be round four. So four. Strikes hero pose. Yeah, but I don't like announcing it. 
So that was four. We are now on five. And if I now fill in my data for there, that now reads five. I'm going to go get a drink, if you don't mind, because I'm thirsty. I'll be right back. Delicious coolant. <sighs> it's fruit flavoured too. Time to do another five. So, um, so recently I was talking with someone in a roleplay chat, and they were surprised that I wasn't speaking in monotone. Six, not one. Because I'm playing as a robot. They're like, oh, you're not speaking in monotone? That's a surprise. For some reason, this surprised me because I, you know, I go by coin standards in terms of robot dialect. So, for example, only LZ speaks in monotone because he's shy. Oh, God. Uh, I believe that was round two. So... Okay then! Uh, three... Five. Uh, okay, so this might work, this might not. Oh, good. This species has great accuracy. That's not the species, that's me. These particular people have great accuracy. Um, hint. Everybody wearing green masks and with green feet definitely has great accuracy. the target dummy's getting faster. That's one. Complicated. That was two. Three.
こう Five. Complicated? Are you the last of your species, Ming Li? No, 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 no. Um, Anti is probably better qualified to explain this, and he will laugh at me as soon as I say this. But um, there is the species Matoran. So, us, us. If you look at us, we are Matoran. You can see the similarities. But there are the six villages, which thus have six different, like, things. So, I am from Gamatoran. This means I am inevitably female for reasons. Uh, blue all over, blue mask, blue feet. There are some with, like, a light blue mask in both Gakoro and Lekoro and a few other places. Um, he is from Lekoro, which means he's a guy because he's not from Gakoro. Green mask, greener body, green feet. I believe that was four, but I might be wrong. Oh my god, these definitely are getting faster. That was five, I believe. I am not getting used to the fact that it's in the same document. What is going on? Mm. Ah, you have eaten some kebab. And because you have eaten some kabeba, you cannot speak. Guess what that was? A trash can. And the crying ho has been speaking as well. My head. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I, I see. There's no time limit on this minigame. Is that my mother outside? There's no way. She said she'd be home late. It's 10 p.m. I'm sorry, your standards of late seem to have dropped a bit. Your standards of late seem to have dropped slightly. Go ahead and laugh at me. I won't. Wait, there is a time limit? What? Yeah, it's on the bottom corner. <laughs> Why did you say top right when you meant bottom left? Prior. That's a good question. They're not rocks. Rocks? Rocks. They're discs. And they're apparently made of bamboo, even though they do not look anything like bamboo. And I have a Half-Life 3 confirmed number of them. Yes, I was just being a bit of a dick. Um, 
I don't know if that was four or what, but I think that was maybe the third one I just done, so. I'm measuring these in batches of five. So we'll call that one three. Three. Five. So we are now on 25 of 50. So I'm going to take a break and um, drink and breathe. Good. Maybe we should uh, take another challenge at, at this, this opportune time interval. What do you mean another challenge? Like swimming, or, or for, for example, uh, ro rock throwing, and in whatever the place is where you do that, Takoro. Hmm. The swimming's easy. In fact, I can write a program that does the swimming for me. Mostly. Let's not try to prove that point. Oh, no fun. I, I am looking for the benefit of our captive audience. It'll take me less than 10 seconds and it'll let me talk. In fact, I lie. I have already written a program that does this. It's just not supposed to do this. But fine. Let us go to Gakoro and get the parts. We'll do some in Garkoro, and then I'll have to call it a night, because I've got to be up by this time tomorrow. I see. But I can come back to it after about 12 my time tomorrow. Hmm. I... I'm not sure if I'm going to be awake, but let, we'll see. We can start streaming mini color. No, 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 no. I want to be here for all of this experience. Despite the fact that we've had to do the same bit three times already? Well, yes, if you're going to have to start the Gargoro part yet again, I, 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 I probably... Uh, we could do something else. <laughs> It would also help if we had more things to talk about, if we had like a set itinerary of discussions rather than me just coming up with, oh, and I talked to someone earlier today and that got me thinking about robot dialects and stuff because some he was surprised yes, that well, I wasn't being monotone. I, 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 I doubt it. anything would uh, would go uh, go on for more than uh, at this point 
over 10 hours of content anyway, so... If you wanna, like... If you wanna find something we can talk about, that would be great. Ow. This has been a great experience. Yes, cryo this. Why? Why did it just sound like somebody briefly turned you into a lawnmower? Oh, that would be very, very useful because our our lawn has not been cut in soon to be two months because the lawn mower is broken. Right, so you want them to cut you outside by the legs and shove you around on a pile of earth. I mean, everybody Pile has their kinks. Everybody has their kinks, but... An acre of so, I would say, but yes. So I'm really making a molehill out of a mountain, aren't I? Yes. There's a reason I'm visiting the crafter, by the way. Name this reason. I have for some reason decided I'd like a fish hook. Huh. Ugh, slow ass waddle. If I ever. No, I won't say, but. It's 15 bamboo wood for a bamboo pole, because a bamboo pole. Might sell better in other villages and might do other useful things. But finally, we go to the tradesperson's house. I say house. One, it's a hut. Two, it's not a tradesperson. Will you trade with me? All we have are air bladders. I will take five air bladders for 25 widgets. Five, ten, Sorry, that's six actually. Seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and that'll do for now. Twenty-five. I I would be uncomfortable if my widget supply dropped below two hundred. Which is why I'm stopping at 25. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I mean, you can just go to Pokoro and Takoro a few times. It's quite a quick process, all things considered. Considering what everything, how fucking long everything takes in this game, it's a quick process. Uh, C9, correct? Yeah. Yeah, C9. I keep meaning to mark out places on that map, because in the astrologer's house, there is the, um, the Nuva symbol for, uh... Water. Thank you. The, the Nuva symbol for water. Uh, mapped out in the stars. Indeed, there is. Probably most villages have been Nuba symbols somewhere. Actually, now that I think about it, not really. Funny enough. Do I even need an air sac for Oh, definitely. Oh, 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 crap. So that was supposed to use just one. How many did that actually use because of my accidental kicking like a lunatic? Three. That's eh, not so bad. All I have to do is remember, don't click like a lunatic. And don't use the automatic button either because that will, um, that's a bad idea. Keep an eye on 
Hello too. O2 for you. Yeah, we'll be doing this like 20 old times. So much fun. If it weren't for the fact that you use a little bit of O2 going down to it, you wouldn't need the air sacs, which is kind of, or the air bladders, which is kind of like, oh, we just made this slightly impossible. Hello. Thank you. Oh. Um. I just accidentally did that without using any thing, um, so now we know that the air sacs really are completely not needed for this. But thank you! And I was just handed a stick of blackjack. Black Jack. Yeah. Stick of rock. So, it's a stick of aniseed flavor rock. Ah, that smells delicious. That is going to fuel a stream later. Well, it will! <laughs> but I love how. Not going to come up on it. But no, uh, as just proven by my mother inconveniently interrupting me, it's possible to do this without using an air bladder. It's just riskier not using an air bladder. If I can, I'll. Um, did you see that? See what exactly? I'm gonna test that. I'm going to deliberately try and fail a run. I'm not going to let it get too far away unless the fail is determined by distance and not by oxygen, like I think it is. Because if the fail is determined by oxygen, you don't need air bladders. Oh no, it is determined by oxygen. This swimming animate. I'm sure you think it is, but I have to do it 50 or 60 times. Yeah. It, if the balancing on this game was better, it would... Like, 20 or 30 at most is what I'd be willing to accept, but no. 60? You just take... You, 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 I mean, you, I think you can try at 20 already, I mean... What's the harm in that? You get to try as many times as you want. Uh, that was the recommendation from the game forums. But, um... I think I will. I think it's like, Onokoro is the easiest, and then after that, you can continue. Like, you need 50-ish for Onokoro, and then you need 100-ish for the Ta Takoro one or something. It's kind of that. What? I'm sorry. What? Okay, no. Jesus Christ. That is going to be, um... 
campaign. I agree. I, and the whole, if you fail, like if, if your computer stops, you lose all progress? That's well, this was meant to be played online, and uh, your it was your progress was saved up by you having an account. Uh, like, it's an online game by name, so that wasn't. <laughs> Well, it was like acceptable, plus it was released one village at a time, so you were supposed to have some busy work, but it's still like... Also, I swear this is getting harder each time I do it. I think you need to catch the Takeya three times each time. Unless... Um... I'll, I'll count. should catch. There we go. At four it did indeed catch. Hmm. Actually my patience is kind of wearing thin so when I have 15 of the air things left I'm going to call it. Because I do not have the patience. The plus is getting kind of light on my end. So that's also a factor we need to consider. I can do the grindy without you. Unless you really, really want to be here for the grindy. Well, yeah, but it's funny uh, to work at this as a... I'd like to point out that my I wrist muscles are actually... Fair enough. I'd like to point out that my wrist muscles are actually starting to throw errors at me. Because I'm doing nothing but just hammering the mouse buttons. Kind of like my, how my fingers start to hurt when after playing Hammer Watch for a week intensively with you. Like, da -da 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 da It's your fault, you got me in Hammer Watch. Admittedly, so is the. Mm. Ah, the pain's moved up my arm. Um, as is now the pain currently moving up my arm. <laughs> because you introduced me to Bionicle and I. You got me hooked. It, it, it's robots with complex backstory. I can dig that. It, it's robots yeah. with complex backstory and just enough like convoluted additional mechanics, like extra words and a writing system that I'm actually willing to sit down and learn to the point where I have a transcribed copy of my phone that in two weeks I won't even need anymore because I've memorized it. But either way, it. I don't have 15 air bladders. Yeah. It is. 10:30 p.m. and I am let tired. So I am going to mute the game. I am going yeah. to save the game. I say save the game. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop the stream. I'm going to hang up on you. I'm going to go and take off my clothes and collapse into some covers and sleep.
Bye bye. Good night. And I've forgotten that I still have the program turned on, and typing good night doesn't work because I haven't got the good night keys. Good night.